Johnny Delicious in the house, yeah. braising beef. And then cook slow, three hours, maybe. And then sing Blister in the Sun. And I blister in, in the sun, sun, let me go wild. Welcome to episode two of Mobbed Up. I am your host, Chef Donnie Delicious, and on today's episode, we are gonna be doing a braised beef. More specifically, a wine braised chuck roast with mushrooms and carrots. That's it. That's fuck. Look at this guy. Chef Donnie Delicious. Donald! He's about to go off. We are going to make sure that when cutting on a cutting board, our knives are extremely sharp. A dull knife is a deadly knife. Second thing, you have a wood cutting board. If it is sliding at all, we cannot have that. This must be as stable as humanly possible. One good trick for doing that is just take a very simple roll of paper towels here. We're gonna wet it slightly, squeeze out the excess moisture there, lay this flat underneath it, and just like that, we have a completely stuck cutting board. No matter how hard I push, it's not going anywhere. This is gonna ensure that you are safe when cutting. Wow. Good? Yeah. <laughs> This is all the salt you two have. I mean, bro, we just moved in. What do you? No, I know. I figured you would had to have salt. <laughs> How good did that look? Did that look good? That was un. <laughs> all right, pro tip coming up. We're about to flour this meat right here. Anytime you flour meat, little salt and pepper in the flour. Braise is such an easy meal. Like whenever you're looking for a nice like one pot at home meal, it's foolproof. One of the benefits being that you have a lot of food for a long period of time. Exactly. Look who it is. Fucking coffee guy shows up. Oh. How was the time? Guy. We're only filming a, a cooking show here. What'd you get? Nitro cold brews. We do eat plants sometimes. Hop in the car, watch it go about to sear up the outside of this beautiful chuck roast cubed up about one to one and a half inch cubes. Do we have towel? Yeah, we're mobile pastures. Do you want me to do it or pop it? You know, get a little FaceTime coffee. Yeah. I sourced us some beautiful beef tallow from local pastures. We love to cook with beef tallow. It's our preferred cooking fat. Local pastures. <laughs> coffee guy got tallow. Fucking coffee guy has tallow. Fucking coffee guy gives me salt. With fucking salt stuck to the goddamn bottom, nothing in it. I do more than just get the coffee. <laughs> Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. While that's warming up, get some tallow in the pan to start getting ready to sear the meat. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan, that way the heat can properly distribute. That's how I want it to look. That's the smell that I want. Home cooking is a dad thing. It's not perfect. What do I look like? Rachel fucking Ray? This is the secret to flavor right here. I'm gonna scrape it up for you, see if I can get a bit. That right there is the secret to flavor. I don't know if you can see that well. Five minutes for the vegetables, two minutes for the garlic. Coffee guy. Coffee You're guy. needed. <laughs> I'm not happy right now. You guys are not respecting me. Got Chef Donnie D in here. Whoop. Next up, add tomato paste, flour, mushrooms, and red wine to the Dutch oven. Stir thoroughly to combine. All the juices, make sure you put your meat in some sort of bowl container that's gonna contain the juices while Whoa. it sets. Single file as best as possible, depending on how much you're doing. I want the liquid basically two thirds covering the meat and just a, a little layer of meat non-covered. Don't keep the oven open for too long. When you open the oven, make it like that. Like this. Preferably there's a light in there if you have an oven that's newer than 1985, but if you don't, 
you know, quick, open, so you, shut. So you just pop it in there quick? Pop it in there quick, open, three, in, three, shut. Two and a half hours until the, until destiny. What are we gonna do for two and a half hours? Nothing that can be filmed. I'm not sweating that much, but I did wear nice clothes today for you people. They don't pay me enough to afford better clothes. We're gonna edit that out. <laughs> The braised beef is done. We let it go in a little bit longer. We had other things to attend to. And that's the beauty of the braised beef is you can just let it ride. You don't need to go crazy. You don't need to worry about it. Oh yeah. Right here. It's just, it's like butter at this point. Trust in that. There's so much flavor in there. Clemenza. Wow. 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 It's so rich. Dude, but it's that not too wine much. and mushrooms and meat combo. Wow. It's so hearty. Compliments to the chef. Wow. Thank you very much. Luckily for me, Salazzo and Clemenza have decided that I will retain my employment status. So I look forward to many more episodes. I have high hopes. My confidence level is high borderline arrogance. Episode two.